All right, quick, a quiz. Name the emerging markets currency that has had the biggest gain against the dollar this year. It's not China. The rise was 33%. And if you said Brazil, well, you're right. We have someone who wants to show how to invest in Brazil and the currency. We've got Uri Lanzmann. He is the chief equity strategist at ING Investment Management. Uri, good to have you with us. You're making a big bet on Brazil, aren't you? Yeah, Still? we are. Absolutely. Why? Uh, um, well, I'd say a few great things are going on in Brazil. One, they're clearly very tied into commodity prices, particularly oil and iron ore. We're a big believer in the super cycle in global commodities, so we think Brazil is going to be a huge beneficiary of that. Plus, I think it's the most clear case of an emerging middle class, which will also be a boon, I think, for banks that provide more sophisticated financial services for things that are tied into infrastructure build like utilities. All right, let's talk about the domestic economy for just a moment, because that seems to be a lot of where you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're putting the, the investments. I mean, doesn't everybody already know this? I mean, we've heard the, about the emerging middle class, and we've heard about, you know, Brazil, and yes, we know that they, their uh, sovereign debt uh, just got uh, re-rated, and it's now investment grade. All wonderful things, so everything is already baked into the market, no? You know, I don't think so. So first of all, um, I think that commodity prices have a long way to go, so that should help Brazil uh, as well. Also, I don't think people have fully appreciated just how different Brazil could look in five or ten years than it does today. Third, and perhaps, perhaps most importantly, I think of the BRICS countries, it's the simplest, least risky story. Why is it least risky? Okay, because you have a reasonably sophisticated, uh, well-known, reasonably pro-business government there. Uh, fairly easy to understand the economy. In Russia, you have to deal with Putin, okay? In China, um, very, very big aircraft carrier to steer, always hard to know what's going on. It is still a communist country. India, very unpredictable. Government typically hasn't been very effective. None of those uh, drawbacks affect Brazil. Well, if you take a look at Brazil, though, I mean, they, don't they still have the residue of high inflation? Isn't it possible that we're going to end up in the same situation where Brazil is always the story that comes in the future? I mean, as we said, the rise in the equity market, the appreciation of the currency, if the currency appreciates even more, doesn't that hurt their export economy? It theoretically could, except that I think the fact that they're exporting commodities and not finished goods helps them a little bit over there. So um, they are also uh, not all of... Uh, the oil and the iron ore is being uh, mined or drilled on site, and so they have um, all kinds of ways to defer some of the expenses. Inflation is definitely a concern there, but I believe as long as commodity prices continue to go up, Brazil will be a market that will outperform. All right. I pressed you a little bit on the macro side. Let's talk about some specifics. Talk about the banking industry in Brazil. You like Banco Bradesco, right? Yeah, Bradesco is the one I've always liked. I think that, you know, you sort of can't go wrong with the banks. Bradesco has been my favorite. Um, one of the things I always cite when I'm talking about the banks there is the fact that um, most financial products that we take for granted here are really very nascent in Brazil. There wasn't such a thing as a, a home mortgage there 10 years ago. Bradesco thinks within a couple of years it could be 10 percent of their assets. And so things like basic insurance, mortgage products um, that have always been a staple of the U.S. economy uh, are just starting to be so in this emerging Brazilian middle class. And I think that that's really going to drive Bradesco. In general, Pim, you know I believe that if you want to play an emerging market, sort of the best bank um, in the country is a good way to go. The joke in Brazil is the best business to be in is to have a good bank, and the second best business is a bad bank. And you want the good bank, at yeah, least right now. Absolutely. All right. Banco Bradesco. All right.